In this video, I'm going to talk about a special feature of an array, which is its ability to dynamically change its size throughout the program. As I mentioned in the previous video, if we were to create an array without giving it an initial value right away, we need to write a square bracket here just to tell the computer that the thing that we're creating is of a type array. The first way that I'm going to show you is that we can increase the size of this array by adding a value within the setup function. And you can do that by writing the name of that array, and then you can tell it which position you want to add that value and then you give it the value itself. So let me print ARR. And you can see that now ARR is of the size one and has a value of 100 at index zero. Then you can add a different value here. Let's say that I want to add a value of 200 at index three. You might question, hey, how about index one and two? if we were to print this. Now, you can see that instead of this array having only a size of two, because it has two values, actually this array has a size of four. But within index one and two, the values are described as undefined, as in like there's nothing inside. But in index zero, there's a value of 100, which we added here. And within the index three, there's another value of 200, which we added here. The second way that we can add values into an array is by using a for loop. What you want to do is that you want to also create the size of an array that you want to create. Let's say I put in size of, let's do nine. Then I will use a for loop and it will loop um, with a condition of i less than size, right? And then what? And then I would like to add a value of something in each of the index position starting from zero to the size of the array that I want. Let's say that I say size equals to nine here, the index value would go from zero to eight, right? And the value that I want to add is the value of the index itself, which is i. So if I print this out, you can see that this array ARR has a size of nine. The value from index zero to index eight is equals to the index value itself. And this is the second way that you can do in order to add values into an array. But the size nine that you see here, it's just an initial size because throughout the program, you can decrease or increase the size of an array. And you can do it by using functions that are specific to increasing and decreasing the size of an array. And in this video, I want to focus on five functions, push, pop, shift, unshift, and splice. All of these five functions have to do with increasing or decreasing the size of an array. The key differences between each of these functions are the position in which it adds or removes a value within an array. So let's focus on the first two, push and unshift. So push and unshift are both functions that are used to add a value to an array. But push adds a value at the end of the array. Let's say that we have an array ARR already, right? The way that we would use the function is we would use the name of the array and then a dot and then the name of that function. And with push and unshift, because we're using these two functions to add a value to an array, we need to give it a value or an argument. And this argument is the value that we want to add to that specific array. Okay, so now you can see that ARR changed from the size of nine to now the size of 10. And the last value is now 100, right? The value at an index of nine. Whereas if we use unshift, It adds that value to index zero, and then it pushes everything, it shifts everything one index. Also, we don't have to only add one value at a time. We can add multiple value, and you can put it as arguments inside these functions. There you go. Now let's focus on pop and shift. So pop and shift are the two functions that remove the value within an array. So with pop, it removes the last value within an array. 
Okay, so now the array that was of the size 9, right? Now it's of a size 8. And which value got removed? The last value, right? So with pop, it removes a value of the last index, which was the index of i equals to 8. But if you do shift, as you might guess, it removes the value of the index 0, right? So now everything shifted back 1, and the size went from 9 to 8. So we went over push, pop, shift, and unshift. Now I want to talk about the last one called splice, which is the most complicated one, but it can do a lot more. Splice is more complex, but it's also quite special because it can both add and remove a value within an array, as well as it can add and remove a value that doesn't have to be at the beginning or at the end of an array. With splice, first, you need to give it at least two arguments. So the first argument is the index at which you want to change something. Let's say that we want to change at index 1. The second argument has to do with how many pieces of data that you want to remove starting from index 1. If I just put in 0, nothing would happen, right? Because it'd say, hey, do something at index 1. Do what? Remove 0 piece of data. Let's say if I put 1, now you can see that at index 1, one piece of information got removed, right? It went from 0 to 2 now. If you do 2 here, then 2 pieces of data got removed. The third piece of argument has to do with adding a value. Let's say that you want to add 100, and I'm going to put this back to 0. So it adds 100 at where? At index 1, right? But now we are not asking it to remove anything. But let's say if we went back to 2 here. So we say at index 1, at 100, and then remove 2 values inside the array at index 1 as well. So you can see that it went from 0 to 100, and then it removes number 1 and number 2. And you can add a lot more than just one number. Right, so it adds at index 1, remove two pieces of information, and you can see it went from 0, 100, 200, 300, and then from 3 to 8. And now the array has a size of 10. So now you can see how we can change the size of the array throughout the program. I did all the examples within the setup function, but you can do it within the draw function, and you can dynamically change the size of an array that way.